Hey YouTube, Joyboy here. So, today we want to ask the question, did Big Mom the Yonko capture and imprison a Marine Admiral? And so I got several mentions in my Twitter today about a detail that is incredibly interesting that appears in the anime that does not appear in the manga. And I think this detail is incredibly interesting, but I think that my bias will show, uh, and I'll rationalize this in a way that makes it appear a lot less interesting than it actually is. But I want people to know about this, and I want people to know about my rationalization for it. Because this is the kind of information that uh, could definitely spread. There's always been this long-running debate about whether certain things from the anime, which don't appear in the manga, are actually canon. And so this came up again today for me from people who watched episode 812 of the anime. And so the scene that I'm referring to is when Luffy and Nami were imprisoned in one of Montdor's prison books. We know for sure that Big Mom captured many, many prisoners. And we know this because there's probably multiple prisoner books, and Luffy and Nami were being kept on page 55 of just one of them. But as far as who these prisoners are, and if any of them are important, we wouldn't know from reading the manga. But the anime might give us a different impression. In anime episode 812, unlike in the manga where we cannot read any of the other pages, or even the bits that we can read uh, seem kind of like nonsense, the anime decided to fill in one of these pages with a ton of detail. We can see clearly from the anime in big bold words, Admiral disappears and prisoner unnamed. And even the text below this can also be read and also does not seem like nonsense. Below Admiral it says, every day when I've come, and then it's kind of hard to read, there's more that can be read as well if I improve my resolution. Below disappears it says, it was not very long after this that, and below prisoner unnamed it says, it was a bitter cold winter with long harsh heavy gales, and it was plain from the poor father with little, so on and so forth. Again, want to reiterate that there is more that could potentially be read here if you have the ability to improve the resolution. But it cannot be read in its entirety because part of it is obviously cut off. But the thing that has a lot of people interested is that it, it says that inside this prison book, Big Mom captured an admiral. Did Big Mom actually capture a marine admiral? This is so interesting to me and to many other people because this isn't traditional filler. Filler is meant to fill time uh, when the anime wants to add in more material uh, to drag out the story. But in this case, they're actually filling in detail that we can see in the manga. This exact scene appears in the manga. We just can't read the words. This is probably most similar uh, to when the anime debuts color schemes for characters that don't appear in the manga because we can see these characters in the manga, but it's just colored in black and white, but they are there. Uh, and they specifically ask the creators of One Piece, Oda, and the editors what the color schemes would be so that when these characters appear in the anime, they're colored correctly. This page exists, so perhaps this dialogue is actually something that is legit. But straight up guys, I don't think that it makes sense for Big Mom to have captured uh, a Marine Admiral despite your belief that the Yonko are greater than Admirals and that this detail proves that for you. And if there's any actual reason from the story which may suggest that, it's that this Admiral was supposedly kept in the same book as Nami and Luffy. And we know later that Jinbei was able to free Nami and Luffy by essentially burning this book. And this freed all of the prisoners, which then uh, were free to cause mayhem in Whole Cake Island and Big Mom's castle. But none of these people were important. If a Marine Admiral was actually released, you would expect them to be more important. You would expect them to have played more of a role in the story afterwards. But all of these characters were essentially ignored. So I think I want to make a point here which could possibly make this scene actual canon, but not be very important whatsoever. Just because this book says Admiral does not mean that the person in here has to be a Marine Admiral. An Admiral, as per its definition, is just somebody who commands a bunch of ships. Orlumbus, part of the Strat Grand Fleet, is technically an Admiral. Don Krieg, a way back from uh, the Baratier arc, is in fact an Admiral, and they are not particularly strong. And they are certainly not Marine Admirals. 
But I don't want to be completely biased, guys. The point of me sharing this information for you is I don't want to ignore, which I feel like a lot of people would do given their bias, thinking that this scene isn't important like I do. It could be important. And it would be crazy if that were to be true. And I'll certainly be on the lookout in the future uh, to see if it is. But I just don't think that it is. So I think I would classify this under interesting information that, if not fully explained, might be misleading information to some people. But as with all things, time will tell. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you agree with me or if you don't. If you have anything to add whatsoever, just share it. Like the video if you like the video. Dislike the video if you dislike the video. Uh, make sure to check out links to Discord as well as Patreon in the description. Huge thanks to all of my Patreon. Subscribe if you haven't. And as always, guys, have a wonderful day.